Hi everybody, welcome to Mike's Garage. Well, it's snowing out and we have a problem with the Hyundai Sonata 2010. The um, shifter won't move, it's frozen. It's stuck in reverse. Um, we drove home, tried to put it in park and it went into reverse, it couldn't get out of reverse. So we're trying to figure out what's wrong. So we have to take the console apart. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Ready? Here we go. Now, first thing we have to do is get the handle off because you can't do anything unless you get the handle off. Now, how you do that is there's a chrome sleeve here on the bottom. You have to drive that chrome sleeve off. Now, what I did is I got a screwdriver and I put it between the rubber and the chrome and I hit down on it with a, with a pair of pliers and it drove it down and got it out of the way. Now, that's only the part of it. Now on the side, right here, there's a Phillips screw. Now the Phillips screw we took out is a tiny little screw. And here it is right here. That's the screw that comes out. So I'm gonna take the handle off. It just pulls straight up, no, no effort, comes right off. And you can see the hole there where it goes in. Has it, there's the threaded hole and you can see the two clips on the side so when you're trying to remove that chrome, you just have to bang it down and it'll come off. Now it doesn't come off without any consequences because the cheap chrome that's on there is all peeled off now a little bit, especially on the one side where we hit it with the screwdriver trying to drive it down. So that's how you get that off. That's the first part. Put everything where it's not gonna get lost because you're gonna need it to put this back together. All right, next thing is you have to get this console off. Now, with this model here, you don't have to remove the whole center. You just have to remove this black part here. So what we did is we forced the screwdriver between the beige console and this through under there, and we twisted the screwdriver, and we got it to raise up a little bit. Then we got a heavier screwdriver, and we pried that up like this. See, so with the heavier screwdriver, and we stuck the blade in there between the two and twisted it, and it popped up all the way around. Then we did the same thing on this side, loosened this side, went around and popped it up a little bit, a little bit at a time, all the way around until it comes off. Now, this lifts up. You got to pull it back a little bit as you lift it up, and there's enough slack where you can move it, pull it all the way out, and move it over to the side. You don't really have to disconnect the wires, but there's a lot of wires back there for the cigarette lighter and the uh, USB port and everything like that. Now, what happened, see if you can see this. This is the shifter cable. This is how we found it. It broke, the clip that holds it on is broken. So this fell off of the shifter. So this, this was locked up and this won't move and the car stuck in gear. Now, we could probably drive the car just by shifting this back and forth. If you push it, if you push it forward, it'll go into park. And if you pull it back, it'll go into reverse, neutral, and drive, and the other gears. Okay? So, we don't want to mess around with that. But what we have to do now is we have to get a grommet, because this can't go on there and be that loose. So, there's a grommet that has to go in here. And I don't know if we can buy that at the Hyundai dealer. And there's a clip we have to get to hold this back on because the clip broke. I can't find it. There's a couple little pieces of dried out plastic down there. You see it? I think that's the I think that's what was holding it together. And that dried out fell apart. Now this has 130 miles, 130,000 miles on it. It's about uh, it's about 15 years old. So uh, you're going to expect to have this problem. And we're going to have to clean all this up and get some kind of a grommet in there and then put it back together. It should go together pretty easy. Uh, before we put it all the way back together, we're gonna put the, put the shifter knob on it and drive it without putting the console back on. So we won't put the console back on until we give it a try. But first we have to figure out how to reattach this. I'm gonna uh, go to uh, the dealer and see if I can see their schematics there about how it goes back together. So I'll let you know what we find out, okay? And uh, thanks for watching Mike's Garage. Watch for the follow-up video. We're going to put this all back together 
that's how you take it apart. Do it carefully. You don't want to crack the plastic. Be, you know, take your time. Be patient. Okay. Thanks. We'll see you with the next video shortly.